Officials told us considering how large the fire was, they're fortunate to only report of one injury. They say it was a firefighter who fractured an ankle. We also spoke to the owners of the market today, still processing the loss. It can't be happening to us. Martin's Country Market, a local staple for decades, experiencing a devastating loss. Flames quickly engulfing the left side of the building. It's obvious that we won't be selling anything out of this building until, you know, we get uh, a chance to evaluate the damage. The company says it had recently done renovations on the outside of the building. The fire resulting in a multi-million dollar loss. But luckily owners say none of their 120 employees were hurt. It's heartbreaking for all the Martin family um, and at this point, you know, our concern, we want to take care of our employees and make sure that them and their families are okay. Officials say the fire erupted around 4 o'clock this morning. An employee smelled smoke and called 911 shortly after arriving at work. Officials also say the market's alarm system alerted the local fire department. We have well over a total of 200 uh, firefighters that have been here throughout the night and continue to be here. Uh, approximately 45 fire stations from three different counties. Gockley says the roof is made of metal and is lined with rubber, which is what fed the fire for more than six hours. The building was constructed prior to the requirement for sprinklers, but the building was not out of regulation. Uh, it's just it was not a requirement at the time of construction. The cause of the fire is still unknown, but authorities say it does not appear to be suspicious at this point. We uh, had a, a setback, but yeah, we're not going to let that run the path forward. Fire officials say that locals may see a brownish tinge in their water as a side effect of the fire, but that it is not dangerous. Reporting live in Ephrata Township, Maxine Rose, CBS 21 News.